Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today's episode number 25. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so as we all know, today's session has sort of been uh, aimed towards clubs. So we're going for another club. Oh, always happens. Start recording and I always crash. Um, but we are going to be focusing on, I think this one is a no restrictions. Uh, and as you can see, we swapped out the car a little bit. We're going to be driving the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Uh, this one's quite a nice car, actually. Feels very nice to drive. Quite strong and capable of corners. Not capable of avoiding accidents, though. Uh, that's all down to me. But here we go. We are here at the North Shore Auto Enthusiast. Awesome. So I'm guessing this is like the north of the map. North Shore Automobile Enthusiasts. And we've got quite an interesting choice of vehicles. We've got the Lamborghini Miura, Jaguar E-Type, uh, Aston Martin DB4, SL Goldwing. I mean, come on, that's a nice car. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray and Mercedes-Benz CLK. So we are clearly the most powerful car here. Uh, but first off, Let's go and take down this Lamborghini Miura. Right, here we go. Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione against the Lamborghini Miura. And the Lambo has the better start. But again, this is only a 1.4 mile event. So... Hopefully, we can get them on the corners and the straights more than anything. And the Miura has gotten themselves stuck behind traffic cars. That is a problem with these clubs. If you can't get past the traffic cars, you don't stand a chance. Right, we've got a corner coming up. Took that corner very nicely in first gear. Sliding through there. I've got far left to go. Here we go. To be fair, the Miura is the only B class vehicle in this, so the fact that we beat that probably secures the bag for the rest of the championship. But there we go. 3,000 credits. That was a very good race. I really liked it as well. It was very nice driving around there in the Alpha. So uh, next up is the Jaguar E-Type Coupe we got to go against. And we are driving against Jimmy Jardin. I'm guessing that's how you say his name. Right. Let's see how well this Alfa Romeo 8C goes against a Jaguar E-Type. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Normally, I'm not a great fan of the Jaguar E-Type. But because it's in this game... A game based around classic cars and amazing scenery. It makes the car look so much better. If you saw the Jaguar E-Type in London, bleh, you see it in... Whoa, that traffic car was gunning for me there. But you see this car in Hawaii with some very nice scenery around us. I mean, look at that. The houses and everything flying past. Definitely a very nice looking map. For a semi-decent looking car. And normally I don't like the Alfa Romeo 8C. But I feel like it suits this map very well. And we have just gone and got another dub. There we go. 55 seconds that took. I was like, nothing. Let's just get straight to the next race then. I would like a bit of a longer race, please, game. Can we get a 20-minute race in one of these clubs? I am joking, but maybe five minutes. Next up is the Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato. This is a... 
I wonder what Zagato is. I've never actually researched what it is. I think it's like an Aston Martin performance brand. Might be. Because you obviously get the Zagatos nowadays as well. But here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. It does look odd. Aston Martins have never been the prettiest of cars. But they certainly are good cars. Look at that. Come on, let's do this. At the next intersection, turn right. I think we've got at least another 15 clubs left to do as well after this. Um, and if there are any more to unlock, we've got even more to do after that. Awesome. Alright, coming up to the finish line again. It's looking very good so far. And there we go, across the line. Finished in first place. 54 seconds. That is good. We'll go to the next race. Once we finish this, I think we've got the uh, Luxury Car Club as well to do. Which will be the fifth club we've done today in today's session. But uh, next up is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. This is a beautiful car. No matter what weather, what location, this is stunning. I love driving it in Gran Turismo especially. Um, because it is just perfect for the scenery and the setting. Just look at that. That is beautiful. He's obviously gotten a better start, but I may have deliberately uh, not accelerated at the start just to get a good look at this car. Because it is beautiful. And we've gone off-road. Okay, maybe we should uh, speed up now. We have no room for error. And we got to catch up with the gold wing. But hopefully, those cars uh, have very bad brakes. Come on. We are catching up. Because we have got a much faster car. Oh, and he has ended up crashing into that lorry there. Unbelievable. Gutted for him. That is such an amazing car. That would be an expensive crash. Okay, uh, we got a tight corner here. Very nice. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. I have a feeling maybe straight on could have been another option as well. No, it couldn't have been. It's a dead end. There we go. Across the line, 1 minute 39.758. It was a really, really good time. Let's see how much slower the uh, Mercedes was. Very much slower. There it is. 151. Wow. Okay. That was uh, very, very slow on the Mercedes part there. Very much did not win. Next up, Chevrolet Corvette, Stingray 69, haha. Uh, and we are going to be doing this race for Vice President. If we win this race, we will become the Vice President of this club, the uh, North Shore Club. Awesome. Alright. Oh no, what was that? Corvette trying to do a pit maneuver on me. Turn left. Awesome. This 
It's looking really good. Very good, very nice. Come on. Ah! No. Don't do that to me, please, I beg. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. And across the line. Very nice. We got first place. One minute and three seconds. 6,000 credits. So we got another race to do now. We are now the vice president. But as the vice president, we need to take down the president. If only someone would do that elsewhere. Uh, but next up is the Mercedes-Benz CLK 55 AMG. Let's go. Thomas McLeod. That's a very weird name. Very long. The letters don't don't make a normal sound in British uh, phonics. Here we go, nice. Right, three miles for this race. This is the one that we were the most worried about because it's a quite a powerful car, actually, the Mercedes AMGs. But so far, the AMG has not overtaken us. This is going really well now. Awesome. This is the sixth day as well for me recording. And uh, when we started recording, we're at 44% completed the game. So, uh, still have a lot to do. Not even halfway yet. So, uh, I have a feeling this could be a very long series. And especially with the longer races coming up soon as well. Yeah. It's going to get big. Obviously, these clubs have been a little bit shorter than I was expecting. But, oh well. Not the end of the world. Oh, careful. Here we go, though. Easy dubs for the president of the North Shore Club. Nice. And there we go. Next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. Exit. Very nice. That was a very good run in that club. And we are now the president of the North Shore Automobile Enthusiasts Club. But now... Now we are done here, we are going to move to the next club, which is just south of us. The Executive Owners Club. I was actually trying to set a marker so we could drive there, but uh, apparently we're fast traveling. Apparently. There we go. Okay, so this is for luxury vehicles. So bearing in mind the best car is the Aston Martin DB9, we can use that as a reference. Or we could just take the DB9 and match them. That's also an option. So let's go against Jim No Coats in his Mercedes-Benz CLK 55 AMG, first of all. Right, let's go against the Mercedes. So uh, between this clip and the last clip, um, I sort of had the most explosive sneeze ever. <laughs> it was perfectly timed. I pressed stop recording and then just sneezed. But my nose is killing me now. <laughs> really hurts. Um, but we've driven 327 miles in this car. That is impressive. We can't get away from this thing. No matter how much we try, it's just like, drive me, drive me. But yes, this car is, it's a very nice car to drive. Uh, with the weight of it, it's actually really good at maintaining drift, so... Not too much of a problem on that front of things. It's also very good at off-roading, apparently. At the next intersection, turn right. 
awesome. Oh! Crap. That was a rubbish corner. That could have gone so much better. One thing we need as well in a test drive Sona Crown, we need parking lots. Because in like drifting and car meetups, you see a lot of car meetups in parking lots. And especially uh, multi story parking lots as well. You see a lot of car meetups like on the top floor, middle floors, whatever. But those would also prove to be some amazing photo shoot opportunities if they have a photo mode in the game, which, I mean, nowadays for a modern racing game, if it doesn't have a photo mode, there's a problem somewhere. But uh, there we go. First place for the first race of the Executive Owners Club. Very good. Let's go to the next race. I am thoroughly enjoying this game at the moment. Right, so next up is another Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG this time. Not the uh, CLK. So let's do it. Let's go and show them who's boss. Awesome. Alright. Here we go. Mercedes. Time to be defeated. Off we go. That was a very good launch from the Aston Martin. Wow. Nice. That was very good there. Going around there. Awesome. Alright, slow down. Turn left here. gone really well so far. Two, one, and across the line. Ta-da. Oh, Aston Martin didn't want to uh, go off the road apparently. But there we go, 51 seconds for that race. That was perfect. Nice short race. Keeps it very quick. Next up is the Chrysler 300C SRT8. So uh, this is like a partnership between like the Dodge. I think Dodges are basically Chryslers, but they're performance brand. And they added the extra performance brand of SRT to it. So let's see if our Aston Martin DB9 can beat that. Please correct me if I'm wrong on any of that. But that's what I understand from it. But let's do this. Oh. That is, I swear, if any of you guys have watched Chicago PD, I swear that's the car that the, um, one of the detectives drives in that, in that movie, in that series, TV show. At the next intersection, turn right. I basically just turn named right. every form of television under the sun. No, but that is the car. That is the car they drive. Definitely. Lindsay, I think her name is. Jesus, did you see that G? It did like a barrel roll. That is ridiculous, okay. And uh, the Chrysler has gotten itself stuck on that corner. But uh, we are not looking for sorry tails. We're looking for wins. So uh, we're going to take this crown and give the Chrysler no chance whatsoever. Absolutely stunning car. The Chrysler are actually catching up, so it wasn't too bad for them. Very nice, though. We're still only at 200,000 credits. We're going to have to do some races and get, like, big money now. After this. Because we definitely need it after spending it all on that Pagani. Uh, but next up, Mercedes-Benz CLS 55 AMG. I do like the Mercedes. They are very luxury cars um, for their time. 
they are very nice. I do like Mercedes, um, but BMWs just have more performance. They're less luxury, but there's more performance, and they even though BMWs still are luxury cars, don't get me wrong, but Mercedes is the more luxury side of the German cars, BMW is the more performance side, and I would pick the performance any day of the week. A little less luxury isn't going to bother me too much. Awesome though. I think BMW needs to make like a supercar though. Because they haven't made a supercar before. Like they've made the M5 which is a very powerful car. But that's like a sports car at most. They need to make a supercar. Like the Audi R8 for example. Something like that. But by BMW. BMWs are the kings of the saloon cars as well. Like, you think, think of a saloon car, it's probably a BMW, guaranteed. Oh, oh, there we go, nice. Ah, not great. Traffic cars are in the way, again, as always. There's the uh, V-Car rent a car there. I think there's also a... Um, what is it? Retailer here, nearby. We're going... F Whoa! Way too fast through there. The Aston Martin hasn't been driven for a long time, though. So... Sort of like getting back into the swing of things, getting used to it again. But uh, we are totally looking forward to some other cars. I really, really am looking forward to that final race. That final long 103 mile race. And it's obviously part of the series as well. So I think we'll do all of those longer races at the end. Uh, I feel like that'd be the best time to do it. There we go. Some more credits. We're going to do the fight. Hang on. No, there's two more races, isn't there? Yes. So next up is the Aston Martin V8 Vantage and then the DB9 Coupe. So let's do this. Start race. Let's get straight into it. These races have been very short today. Uh, I have a feeling I'll only get to record three videos, maybe. Three videos at the most. Um, but I do have a little bit of content from yesterday's recording session still left to put into videos. So maybe chucking that in with today, I might be able to squeeze four out. Just. And the V8 Vantage has crashed. Unbelievable. At the next intersection, turn right. Awesome. Turn right. All right. We are flying ahead at the moment. Nice. 1.8 miles left on the waypoint. Very nice. Come on. Nice. Went off-road a little bit there, so got a tiny bit of penalty, but not too much of a problem for us. Ah, no. 
watch it. And there we go, across the line. Finish first place against Orlando in his V8 Vantage. These audio glitches are really weird. I wonder why that happens. Right, next up, final, final car to become the president of this club is the Aston Martin DB9 Coupe. The DB9 is such an amazing car. We're going against a red one, which is awesome. I feel like painting the Aston Martin, because we've obviously driven it as silver for so long, nearly 350 miles, that if we do do another race with it, we're gonna have to make it look different. Change it up a bit, change up the style. Okay, nice. Three miles left. Ah, squ oh, tried squeezing through there, couldn't get it. Nice. It was a very good drift. I don't know what that car was doing. He was reversing for some unknown reason. Just one lone little palm tree miles up in the sky. Oh, contact there. The amount of times that we've passed that Mercedes dealership now in the past two clubs is ridiculous. I think we've passed it at least six times. Maybe even more. Linden's catching up though. Hopefully we can hold him back for the next 1.6 miles. By the looks of it, we are. Nice. Okay, gone a little bit wide. Apparently there's a dead end up ahead. Gone to that roadside. This is a long road for a dead end. There we go, across the finish line, and our next vehicle upgrade is free. That is five free vehicle upgrades so far, which is awesome to see. We won't have to spend any big amounts of money for a long time now. Especially after spending 220000 on that Pagani. I think that's fairly deserved. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>